Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you are very well and welcome to this video that I have for you today where I'm going to be talking you through the biggest difference between beginner slash intermediate traders and true trading professionals, masters of the market that are sending hard cold profits to their bank account. What is the biggest difference here? Well, the biggest difference I'm going to be thinking, let me, let me ask you this question. What do you think the biggest difference is? You might be thinking to yourself, Daniel, hmm, is it the technicals? Is it the technicals that are separating us? Is it to do with the psychology, your readings of the market? Is it to do with how you're managing emotions? Is it the risk management, money management? The biggest difference is realizing profits and sending them to the bank. Nobody really does this in crypto, especially in cryptocurrency. People have a very, put Bitcoin on such a pedestal. And as a professional, you cannot be doing that. You have to view Bitcoin as a way to make money, period. Okay, making money. What does that mean? It means, well, you know, starting off with your technical analysis, obviously. And then it means not getting greedy. For instance, today, I was in a short position from the breakdown of the rising wedge that we had here. We come down all the way to 9,800. I did not close my short at the bottom, but after we had the initial shine of strength, closed out that short. And the next thing I'm doing is I am then realizing that profits hit my daily goal and i can send this to my bank account okay so this is built up over, over a few days and then you are you know you're realizing that profits so what do you do the profits that you have made on a few trades you are then sending that over to a website such as coinbase and the bitcoin that is received you are then really simply selling it you are realizing the profits you are taking hard cold cash from, you know, from the exchanges, you are we beating the market. The average trader sees, sees winnings, they see profits, and the next week they lose it all because they get so greedy. What am I doing as a professional? I am taking profits from the market, beating the market, and then instead of thinking, I'll hold this for another 10 years. No, I'm selling them. I'm paying my bills. I'm doing what a standard person would do if this is their job. So what do we have here? We have the realized profits from over on the Bybit exchange sold out, you know, this is the thing. Let's say that we have on this account 20 Bitcoin. Here I have made and made it up to 28 Bitcoin. That's a, let's say this is a weekly goal for myself. And then that extra bit of profit, I'm then sending that away. When I make another eight Bitcoin, I'll send that away. Make another bit eight Bitcoin, I'll send that away. The cycle repeats. We can stay at our same value, but profits are realized and sent, okay? Sent over to a place such as Coinbase, where we can then come over to here, click sell, and this is obviously for me selling to Great British Pounds. You can sell to Euros. You can sell to USD. Here, my currency, Great British Pounds. We're going to place our sell order. We're going to sell everything that we have here. And we're going to place click sell order. Okay. That then is going to realize this. This takes a little while to get filled on Coinbase Pro. <laughs> if you've ever traded on Coinbase Pro, it takes a while to get filled. But basically, then what would we do here? The sell order is realized. We have hard, cold Great British Pounds. And then from that, send it to the bank. From the bank, I can do whatever I want with it. Pay bills, I can literally do whatever I want. But that is the number one difference between beginner, intermediate traders and professionals. You hardly ever see newer traders realizing their profits. It stays in their accounts for years. And guess what? That amount dwindles down, dwindles down until they go to zero and they reload more. And it goes to zero, they reload more. What am I doing? I'm keeping a set amount. It reaches my profit targets. I'm selling it. And I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm taking money from the exchange average joe losing money they're giving money to the exchange i'm taking it from the exchange beating the markets and this is how you do it take profits take profits take profits ladies and gentlemen i've i say it so often you just got to take profits okay do not get greedy realize the hard cold gains and just be really content and happy sometimes you might kick yourself thinking oh, i sold here and then it went on another five percent oh, i sold here and it dropped another five percent do not get in the mindset of thinking, oh, I could have had more. Get in the mindset of thinking, yes, I made money where most people have lost. Now that's, you know, you know, firstly reach some targets, take that money, send it to the, you know, send it to a place like Coinbase and then send that to your bank. Trust me, over the long term, you're going to start to see why there is such a difference or, you know, real, you know, yeah, difference between those intermediate traders and the advanced traders. We are very strict on taking profits, setting goals, setting targets, realizing those targets, and then being rewarded. Cheers, everybody. Thank you, and goodbye. So I'm going to let you share the satisfaction of uh, watching the Great British Pounds pile up here.
as the sell order gets filled and um you know this is the rewarding feeling that trading gives because i will be honest with you it is i always say oh this is such an easy trade but for me now it is you know at a stage where it's pretty easy but it, this obviously is over many many years of hard work dedication you know i've spent so much time on the charts and this is this is one of the most rewarding feelings knowing that you put all that hard effort and work that you have put in is like getting rewarded and in a very, very big monetary way. But nevertheless, it's just the rewarding feeling that you get when you trade of having an analysis and then it to play out on, you know, some of the biggest markets in the world, you know, be it on the stock market, be it on Bitcoin, cryptocurrency to identify some of these levels where they happen to the like the exact dollar and for it to reverse and not just get rewarded in an absolute wonderful feeling that you get within you but then you know to see some of the you know the profits that come in off of that it's, it really is a beautiful feeling um i was going to hope <laughs> that this 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 uh order got filled but i really don't think it's going to this is the, you know this is what i'm all about the liquidity on coinbase is really shocking really 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 shocking but uh <laughs> we got filled 1000 of it so far but there's still what another like 60,000 to go so <laughs> we might be here a while but, you know, that, that, that's enough for the point I wanted to make of, um, you know, putting the hard work, putting the dedication and, um, yeah, enjoy this rewarding feeling with me. That is trading. It's absolutely beautiful. What happens to traders that make great trading profits and hold on to that trade forever? They end up losing all their profits. As you all know, this week in trading, we were longing 11,200 and taking it up to the 11,800 region. That has happened. And yes, we have moved up higher. But do you think I care? Absolutely not. I have realized the profits on that trade and the extra profits that I have made this week. I have just sent over to Coinbase and sold them once more. That's another, well, you can see here, sitting on, sitting on about 150 grand now in, uh, in a few weeks. So, yeah. What going obviously very well to trades and i just want to highlight to you once again the importance of firstly not only identifying the setups it's then taking the setups it's then taking it to targets and it's selling it's realizing profits and it's sending it to the bank i want to remove the the negative stigma that people have with doing this in bitcoin it's absolutely needed yeah you know at the end of the day we're traders we're not here for holding years and years and years we're here to trade make money send that money to the bank move on to the next trade you know i'm not getting rid of all my bitcoin i've still got bitcoin i'm going to now take the next trade and make money <laughs> and i'll continue the cycle so i hope you've enjoyed this video everybody thank you and have a good one cheers so i was just updating my team about taking the profits and it's an interesting point that was actually made um i will expand upon this slightly uh but it's basically the best money shop taking profits and sending them to the bank too many people buy bitcoin make profits or lose it all and keep it in bitcoin forever what we need to do is make profits trading send the profits back to the bank this helps a great deal with trading emotions my profits from the 11,200 long have realized as both targets have been hit and the profits are now sold to great british pounds can bitcoin go higher yes could i have sold for more profit yes do i care no profits are profits now on to the next trade. Obviously, this is referring to the uh, trade setup where I was looking for those longs, 10,200, looking to 10,650, 11,800 region. We obviously, I've now sold all of this, actually, at 11,000. Uh, I'm more than happy with this. Can it go higher? Absolutely. But um, this, is, this is a little post that I liked from the member, and it's uh, casino chips. It makes you feel like you are not holding real money and makes it easier to throw it around and potentially lose. Same goes for Bitcoin. It's not profit until it goes to the bank. And this is just absolutely correct. Um, you know, unrealized profit, even realized profit that you've made on a trade. If you just keep on putting it back in, putting it back in, putting it back in, it is just, you know, it's just imaginary at that moment in time. Okay, especially unrealized profits. It's just all imaginary that can go in a second. So the only way that you can move forwards and really reach that next level of trading is getting into this routine, you know, making profits. Realizing the profits, sending that profit either into a diversified portfolio, which I can make another video about, or just simply to your bank. Um, you know, this is the process that one has to go through to become a professional trader. You, you cannot be a professional trader and not do this. 
So it's just a it's just a step that I want to highlight to people that it's absolutely necessary and um you know you don't need to sell exact highs, exact lows, as long as you're getting the majority of the moves, which this definitely was, uh then I can be happy. Goes up more, don't care. I'm on I'm on to the next trade now. <laughs> you know, I'll 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 do the exact same process next week. So um, you know, that's the video that I wanted to upload. I'll put this on YouTube in a few days. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with a perfect trading example of why we firstly do technical analysis, then make a trading plan, then trade to targets, not getting greedy at the highs, selling those profits, moving them to the bank, then moving on to the next trade. As you'll know from the original trading plan that I had, managing in the end to sell at $11,000. Could have it gone higher? Potentially. But obviously, while I was writing in the time, I was saying we are not getting greedy. We are now moving on to the next trade. And what a what a result this really has been, where we obviously managed to take that short all the way down here. Really, really good. And you can imagine the situation that some people are going to have been in. They could have longed around 10,650, taken it up to target. But then if they have not sold and they have kept in that same long position, well, they are sat heavily underwater right now. And you do know there will be people in that position. So this just highlights totally why you make the plan, why you then do not get greedy, sell for profits. You are beating the market. The majority do not do this. So when we're doing this consistently, Trust me, this is the biggest, biggest difference between a newer, intermediate and professional trader. The professionals are not getting emotional. We are sticking to our plans and this is all thought of in the time where price is likely heading towards looking for liquidity regions. And when it hits those liquidity regions, we then switch into <laughs> long positions. So that's the current trade that I'm in at the moment. Uh, based off of that 10,200 liquidity region where we had those series of lows, which have now taken. I can now take profit on this long. And again, I can now take profit on this this position and then look to switch positions. This hasn't hit my overall target, don't get me wrong. But that's for another video. And the video here was just to highlight why we need to be taking profits, not getting greedy, and then just focusing on the next trade. Hope you've enjoyed this one and it's opened your eyes to really what you need to be focusing on. Let's review those three trades one final time so I can really cement the idea that I want to get across in this video to help you. And it was originally taking that long off of 10,200, taking that up towards target in the end closing out at 11,000 and then switching that long position into a short. Again, okay? so what are we not doing up here? We're not getting greedy, expecting higher prices, but we are using technical analysis to foresee the next move. It was obviously a move and a short to the downside where we were looking for around 10,170 to take that liquidity off the double bottom. And then after the swing fire pattern, again, it's not getting greedy, expecting lower, but it's then closing that short, entering along to trade for higher prices. So each step of the way, obviously the original long 10,200, up towards target, not getting greedy, closing out, entering the next trade, taking that down towards the next target. Once we hit that target, again, not getting greedy, closing that out onto the next trade. Obviously, where it leaves us to where we are now. And what, we can, what we're doing after these trades is we are realizing those profits, sending them to the bank. Average Joe in this section of the chart is, is gonna be down heavily. This is a very choppy market if you don't know what you're doing. And uh, the only way that you can be having a, a positive experience with trading right now is if you are taking profits, moving on to the next trade. After you've done those steps, you'll be having, like me, a very good day. And that's what you want in trading. Hope you've enjoyed this one and these words stick with you. Thank you. Goodbye.